Well, the first thing I need to do is start my smoker. So I brought some newspaper to start that. Use a little bit of newspaper, just a sheet or two. And I've got a place here where I start my smoker and I can also put it out without causing a whole forest fire. So, yeah, it's always best to have a little spot where you're not going to cause a lot of damage. It's wet today, so that's not going to be an issue, but let's start a fire here. Let's get this paper going. I've already got a little pine needles in here. As you can see, it's already gone out. What I do to help with that is I take these little toilet paper rolls, start them. No, it hadn't already gone out. Let's see if it. Nope. Let's try that one more time. Gotta get that match out of the wind, I guess. Yeah, I think we're gonna get it started now. The newspaper's starting, so I can take my little chimney here. Ah, it almost went out, but no. Let's see. Yeah, it did. That's three, maybe. Maybe this will make a charm. Get charm. Whoops. Start the fire over here. Cool morning, that fire feels pretty good. Yeah, I've got some pine needles I had already in the smoker and just used it for a short period of time so they're dry. We had a lot of rain lately. This one's not very dry, but some of this one is. Doesn't matter if the pine needles are a little damp, but that newspaper underneath will dry them out. So I keep adding this in here. And I think that'll do it. For what I need, I can add some more later. Whoops. I got some tape here I keep over the top to put it out. When I'm done. So there, we got our smoker going. I'll leave that little piece of tape here. When I'm done, I can come over and put that back on. Put my newspaper away so it doesn't get wet. Just stamp. So I want to keep it keep well until it's dry. I brought my tool kit here. Got my gloves. And yes, I do wear gloves. I still got stung yesterday. I don't like it. it. Swells up. Been doing this for six years, and you get stung now and then, even when you wear gloves. Thing is, a lot of times you take your suit off, and <laughs> there's one on the back of the suit, and you don't know it. And yesterday is what happened. I took the suit off, and there was one on my suit, and it stung me right on the arm. So I want to puff my smoker one more time, and just make them aware that I'm in here. So now they know. Something's going on. What I'm going to do is take this nuke out of this easy nuke and put it into a regular wooden nuke. This will be a simple operation here. Just take them out and put them in the other box. But first, I got to get this tape off. I took this out of another box, double deep, that had nine or ten frames of brood in it, so I wanted to make some nukes, so here they are. And as you can see, they're doing fine there. And they're not very worried about me just yet. It's still relatively cool, I would say 55, 60 degrees. So all we got to do is move them. Let's see if I can find one that doesn't have a lot on it pull that out. What would be interesting is they've been here a couple days. Yeah, they're, they're making a little wax comb on there. There's a little bit of honey on that one. 
I'd like to see where he might have started a queen cell. So well, let's look, look for that. That's a nice heavy one. Now we got some brood on there, some open brood, so they have an opportunity. So far, there's nothing on that. We'll stick that in there. And like, I like the open brood. They have something to do. There's plenty of young bees here. Uh, well, there's not plenty, but I'd like to see a little more. But you've got plenty of broods that should have hatch out pretty soon. Uh, there's some open brood on that too. So we got two frames of brood there, which is what you'll need for a nuke, at least. And another good frame of brood there. I'd like to see more bees on that, but that's what we got right now. Maybe I'll shake some in from another hive a little later. We'll see what we got. These girls are not very concerned with me right now. So, yeah, <laughs> that's another frame of brood there. So, they're going to have a lot of bees. And then I'm going to put my lid back on. This has a jar lid, 70 millimeter, so a regular quart jar will go right on there. And I can put a, a jar of sugar on here, or I can just take the lid out and put a pail on it. So we have a few bees here, still in the box. So what I'm going to do is turn this around where the opening's away and then I just put this here and they can find their way into the hive so that's all to it right now uh, I will either come back in a couple days and put sugar water on there because I think they're gonna need something uh, today I may add another shake of bees or two from one of the other hives. We'll see what we have. That's it for now.